allow me to speak to somebody today that is feeling so depressed or disappointed or either lonely or somebody that says everyone hates me somebody that feels like this rejection that is over his life let me tell you something it's from the day that you gave your life to Christ you must know that you have given a red line between you and the devil now the devil is marketing and he's managing the world many things that are going on or that are moving in this world it's under the devil's power and the devil's command so therefore the devil always want to make it difficult for the children of god so that they can give up on god and to join him now the moment or the day that you are giving your life to christ you have actually declared a war between you and that enemy and that's the reason why you see that many people hate you they don't hate you because you are but they hate you because you have given your life to christ and that you have accepted jesus and they don't really hate you because they want to but there is a spirit of the antichrist spirit or uh, devil that is moving around woving around looking and hunting for those that have given their lives into christ any man any woman that have given their life to christ i'm telling you this that it's very much difficult for you to live life on earth yes it's easier to some but it's difficult to some that's the reason why you see some people are happy uh, in their marriages some people since they become born again there's no longer peace in their marriage why because the devil want to bring that depression upon them but if you are a smart a smart a smart christian a smart born again you have to see or to figure it out that this is the devil trying to bring a rejection and trying to bring div division between you and your husband let me tell you something the devil is not happy at all for you to be in christ that is not what he want he wants you to go through depression so that you can go and seek help from which doctors now look in the book of john chapter uh, 15 verse 18 the bible says if the world hates you keep in mind that it hated me first who is that jesus if the world hates you keep in mind that it hated jesus first so before you think that people are rejecting you because you are or because you have given your life to christ first know that they rejected christ first that's the reason why the people in the world will never will never ever be happy with you and sometimes it's not them you must know that it's the the, the antichrist spirit that is moving in them that is woving in them and if you understand the christianity you don't need to call them names you don't need to call them names but you need to start praying for them so that they can also be touched by the spirit of god and for them to give their life to christ so don't feel rejected don't feel that people don't need you don't feel that people don't want you but feel sorry the moment that you see people are hating you that's the moment that you have to see or to figure it out that there is something more important inside of you than the one that is in the world that's why the bible says he that is inside of you is greater than the one that is in the world so whenever you are serving god in truth and in spirit the devil always try to bring depression and conditions or evil conditions upon your life just for you to give up on christ so do not give up on christ continue serving him in truth and in spirit and he will lift you that condition that pain it's not there to kill you but it's there to make you stronger in the faith to make you strong in christ god bless you I pray for you right now father in the mighty name of jesus christ i'm praying for this listener that is listening unto this audio lord may you strengthen them may you give them power may you give them courage so that they can never give up on you son of david lord whenever one door is shut by the enemy may another door be activated or be opened in the mighty name of jesus christ lord i pray for the kingdom keys to be released so that they can open doors 
they go and open doors for your children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This listener that is listening unto this audio right now, I also declare and decree that good news shall start happening as from this moment in the mighty name of Jesus. Every person that feels rejected is from this moment or is from this day, I pray son of David that peace shall come in them and unity will come in their life in Jesus mighty name. As from today, whoever hates you shall come and look for you and shall be the same person that is going to bless you. Shalom and Shalom.